सदाशिवसमारंभ्या शंकराचार्य मध्यमस्मताचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा शुद्धिस्मृतिपुराण नाम आलय करुणाल नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंकर शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव भागरायण सूत्र भाष्यकृत वंदे भगवत पुनः पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योम व्याप्तहाय दक्षिणाूर्त नम ओं सहनावत सहनो नक्तु सह वीकर वह तेजस्वीना पीतमस्तमा विदिषा वह ओं शांचाशाशाक ओं यो ब्रह्माण विदाति पूर्व हेदाग्च प्रहिणोति तस्म तकुम हेवत्म बुद्धि प्रकाशम मुक्षुर्वै शरणमहं प्रपद्ये ओं शांचाशाशाति कामनायांते संसिद्ध आदिम्जातवर्जित आनंदगणमापूर्ण आत्मच्योतिरुपास्मे कि नेक्स्ट सूत्र एटीन सूत्र इंट्रोडक्शन सीस ननु पंचम्या आहुत आप पुषवचसो भवती पंचम्या आहुत पंचम्या आहुता वाप पुषवचसो भवती दट्स मंत्र दे फिफ्त आहुति जल अप तत्व जल बिकम्स पुरुष जीवा टेक जन्म दट इज वॉट इज एक्सप्लेन इन दि पंचाग्नि विद्या विच हेज बीन दि कॉन्टेक्स्ट फॉर क्वैट अ वैल नौ इन दि सूत्र संख्या निमें देह प्राप्त्य विधाना तदर्थम पापिनाम चंद्रलोक गमन मंगी कर्तव्यम इत्यता सो आई मेंशन दिस इन पासिंग अर्लियर एज वेल एंड द कॉन्टेक्स्ट दैट केम अप अर्लियर सूत्र इन द कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ द अर्लियर सूत्र पूर्वपक्षी सेज दैट जीवा इज बॉर्न विथ एसोसिएशन इन एसोसिएशन विथ अ शरीर that the siddhanti also agrees and this sharira association is what is called as apah purusha vachaso bhavanti apa jala is called as aptatva jala is called as purusha meaning the jiva takes janma and this happens in the fifth ahuti because what we have seen in the earlier sutra vidya karmano riti tu prakrutatvat as to the uh, devayana and pitriyana these are the two margas for the punya karmis and meaning punya karmis who have done punya karma alone and those who have done punya karma and upasana they have devaloka gati so they it is not that everyone attains chandra loka other than these other than these there are some who take to adogati also they need not travel at all some go to chandra loka in that some go to pitr loka dev loka these are the two margas or there is another marga adogati and adogati itself is two fold one can be taken to naraka or one may be born here itself again and again and again because athayetayo patur na katarena chana tani mani kshudrani asakrudha avrtini bhutani bhavanti those who are born again and again without having gati anywhere they leave the sharira in this मृत्युलोका कर्मभूमि एंड देन अगेन एंड अगेन ड्यू टू सो मच ऑफ पापा दे डोंट गेट एनी गति दे आर बॉर्न हियर एज क्षुद्र जंतुस इंसेक्ट्स एट्सेट्रा एंड सर्वशब्द इन दि चंद्र चंद्रमसम ते सर्वे गच्छी विच वॉज आरोपित बै पूर्वपक्षी देर सिद्धांति सेट दैट दैट सर्वशब्द मीन्स पुण्यपुरुष मात्र इट स्टैंड फॉर ऑल purushas who have done all jivas who have done punya so that is the meaning of all it is 
uh, it is in the context of the punya karmas those who are doing punya karmas therefore sarve there stands for only the punya purushas so now if that is the case puro pakshi says how can it be because your panchagni vidya says that the purusha which is other way of saying jiva janma so this jiva janma can be in any sharira need not necessarily be as a human being that being the case everyone has to have the birth in fifth avati and fifth avati is possible only when there is gati avarohana climbing down from chandraloka therefore he says it is sankhya niyamena this panchamyam iti sankhya niyamena in the fifth avati a particular number has been mentioned you cannot just skip that says the purva pakshi to the siddhanti deha prapti abhidhana tadartham papinam chandraloka gamanam angi kartavya so wherever you think that the papi is go that cannot be because in the fifth avati they have to take janma and if they are taking janma be it as a shudra jantu till they have to go to chandraloka because otherwise they won't have the fifth avati this is the objection and you have to accept it is a statement made by the puro pakshi to that bhagwan sutrakar says na tritiye tatho palabdhe he na tritiye tatho palabdhe he so the sutrakar says no it is not to, true why because there is a third marga which has been mentioned and na tritiye tatho tatha upalabdhe tatho palabdhe you can split it and say tatha upalabdhe he why so because it is seen in the shruti when you do samanvaya between apparently contradictory mantras then you see what is the tatparya vishaya there tritiye there is not much to see in the sutra because tatha upalabdhe because it is seen so and na tritiye means not so in the third marga not so for the people who travel in the third marga mean not people but we'll say not so for the jiva who has travel meaning the atma which is associated with the particular set of bhuta sukshma which has done papa karma therefore there is a third marga they do not go by the two margas therefore there is a third marga so that third marga which can be a marga which may not be a marga as such meaning there may not be travel involved at all there can be tiryagadi janma here itself not tiryagadi but uh, kshudra kshudra jantu janma here itself so there tritiye marge so we'll see more in the vritti there tritiye marge pravishtanam papinam for those who have entered the third marga why because they have been denied the two margas why for a simple reason qualification is not there the modernists say what they analyze vedas without any qualification they don't have the guts to analyze the medical or the uh, you know engineering uh, rocket science etc granthas meaning the uh, books which deal with such things they say no no we have to go to harvard to learn that law etc this cannot be understood by the others we have to be trained by these institutions where there are excellent professors who have phd's multiple phd's they have research they have done enough research so to learn something in these fields we have to go to such universities but vedas are available on wikipedia so you can you know online wikipedia or whatever you know there, there is in, there is information available on mailing list and wikipedia and there are soft copies of vedas available or some available in print also it's irrelevant whether i study from an authorized person i can read english therefore i can understand it is not true i'll i'll use dictionaries when in doubt why you can use medical dictionaries also there are medical dictionaries but do you study medicine in that manner no there there you have to learn from those who have established these institutions and 
because this certificate carries value as well there is no certification in veda vedanta what certification those who have certification or those who ask for certification in veda vedanta that is only for further study in universities for role as a professor or whatever or to have a phd etc to have a doctorate but for moksha there is no certification the reason i am mentioning is because the there is no respect for the sampradaya in vedanta alone but if you look at the setup in university it is also sampradaya samyak pradiyate asmin niti sampradaya what is sampradaya the knowledge is given in a manner that the student understands that is a sampradaya it's a lineage so it's a lineage everywhere in each field so why do we have step motherly treatment to the uh, dharmika granthas to dharma just because we can understand the language does not in fact people learn sanskrit there are people who have been you know approaching to say that oh i want to learn such sanskrit enough to teach me vyakrana why because i want to study tika adi on my own so that i can understand you can study on your own that is not an issue you can advance your study on your own. that swadhyay is after you study in the sampradaya you can further your study i myself do not know that as a vyakrana teacher i don't do that why would i encourage someone else to be able to study on your own so i have denied that how much ever you study still uh, on your own how much ever language skills you have but the knowledge can come only in the sampradaya otherwise you know english enough if you are if you know english enough uh, as a as any you know a graduate in any field in an english speaking country and uh, where english is the primary language in first language in which everything is taught that is sufficient for one to read the uh, technical books on medicine and engineering but nobody does that of course one of rarely for certification you know unable to join some institutions is brilliant able to study can give an exam from uh, you know a, a common exam or something directly just give me a minute too much of brain so i'll plug in my earphones anyway all uh, i hope i'm still audible could someone just uh, comment as to my being audible Yes, yes, yes. So, uh, so what happens is that all this blabber just to say that one should respect the lineage everywhere. There is nothing separate here. So, adhikara is important. So, if someone questions in the context here, what someone questions as to why should there be a denial of these two margas, Devayana and Pitruyana, to some jeevas because there is no qualification why was i denied harvard education stanford education simple because i don't have qualification there it is not even a thought at all nobody questions there oh but it is not so all human beings are equal there does it apply all human beings are equal everyone should be offered the same level of job same salaries free education for all reservations are there irrelevant to the merit so merit is important in every field bearing the whatever you know the uh, affirmative action elsewhere or reservations here wrongly done but nonetheless considering that there is step motherly treatment for only the shastra only the study of the shastras one has a mistaken understanding that the past was like this it is all bogus and then if at all there is a travel then it should be for everyone it is not true the way qualification is important in every field similarly across janmas also the birth is based on qualification what is that qualification the karma done the 
gaik vachika manasika karma dan he is the only thing that takes a person forward and it is true in every field unfortunately across janmas we don't have data no ai chat gpt can help you out so there's an assumption based on the little bit of one janma that we know and remember and observation of little bit of others single janma that we know and the modern training and logic that we think we understand we conclude that this is how the shastra should have been saying but atindriya visheshu shastra mekam eva pramana what shastra is talking about of swarga ityadi devaloka pitruloka that itself is unknown to all of us it can be known only through the shastra so means qualification phala everything will be taught by the same shastra there cannot be ardha jagati anyaya that i accept part and i don't accept part and i cannot say that i do not accept anything i mean i can get away by saying that i am a charvaka i don't care for all of these and modern day charvaka is a scientist meaning those who think that science is the only valid pramana they will say i agree with science no, none of this is can be proven although science has its own flaws and it has been seen that the journey is flawed what was proven earlier stands misproved in, by the others disproved by the others still that shraddha doesn't go i wouldn't like the word shraddha also in terms to with respect to science why because i'll say tested in the lab oh, but have you seen it how do you know that the shastra's uh, teaching has not been tested in a so called lab in inverted commas there is a lab of uh, of acharana there is a uh, because uh, the first sutra in purva uh, mimamsa is what it is अथा तो धर्म जिज्ञासा एंड बाय पद छेदा धर्म जिज्ञासा एंड अधर्म जिज्ञासा ऑल्सो अथ 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 अथा तो ओकारा इज देयर देयर फॉर एंग ऑफ पदांत दति कैन गिव यू धर्म जिज्ञासा एंड अधर्म जिज्ञासा ऑल्सो सो धर्म जिज्ञासा अधर्म जिज्ञासा इंक्वायरी इनटू धर्म एज वेल एज अधर्म बिगिंस आफ्टर लर्निंग दी चैंटिंग of mantras veda mantras now this analysis that begins there inquiry inquiry into the shastra that is taught in the sampradaya now there the inquiry which is taught in the sampradaya for that also tarka is needed that tarka is also taught if i say i do not trust anything other than science because it is tested in the labs then the analysis that goes in the purva mimamsa shastra is also tested because there what is the study there the uh, bhashya shabara bhashya ityadi says as to what why should this analysis been be done because the karma that follows from vidyana of the mantra that will give you without the vidyana also without knowing the mantra meaning there is less phala but there is phala knowing the meaning while you are chanting the mantra and doing the karma will give you additional phala further if you can analyze and understand the entire section then there is drishta phala also because all of the following chanting offering the ahuti ityadi doing yaga ityadi all that karma upasana can give you is adrishta phala but drishta phala is also possible so sambhavati drishta phale when drishta phala is possible then why would anyone stop at adrishta phala only which is anyway going to be there from acharana ityadi and following the shastra so therefore the inquiry is there drishta phala is there and that drishta phala means what anubhava siddha 
so one cannot get away by saying that oh i don't believe this there is that belief shraddha is common to the shastra also and to science also where we have not seen in the labs we have done some basic school experiments we have not done what advanced labs have done the scientists who have studied lot lot they have done so we assume what they say is right that is shraddha who oh, it is not belief it is not blind belief all this nonsense is actually nonsense it is nothing else i have not tested it somebody else says it and that somebody else has a degree from some institution so i agree i agree that i have meaning i'll say that i know i am not competent there so with the same treatment being very neutral and fair i have to say that i have no qualification to talk about the shastras unless trained or unless i myself have been able to study under the sampradaya and raise objections as needed with my own drushta phala i am the pramana there in science i am the pramana because the observer is the part of the solution uh, so uh, part of the experiment in fact he is part of the problem not of the solution we think that i am the part of the solution i am the pramana for anything in science why because i have pratyakshata seen it i believe only what i have seen yes but i am part of the problem because i am the observer and we have seen in science observer becomes part of the experiment he cannot be taken out and ends up influencing the uh, behavior that's how they found out that light behaves differently when observed and when not observed any anyway, all this blabber outside just to say that similar thing can be seen with the puro pakshi also they have pre concluded as to this is how it is with some statement here and there but if you do analysis in toto of the shastra where contradictory statements are only apparently contradictory there is apparent contradiction and it can be resolved by mimamsa that mimamsa also has to be taught so coming back to the context after a long uh, detour tritiya marge pravishtanam papinam deha praptyartham ahuti sankhya niyamah na adartavya those who have entered the third path not everyone will enter the third path just like not everyone will enter the two paths devaloka pitruloka gamana is for people who have attained that tat tat phala upasana has not been done adhikari is in there karma has not been done dharma karya adhikaritvam is not there and paap karma has been done evidently then what tritiya marga pravishta jiva so this this jiva who has done lot of papa this in plural those who have done lot of papa they are papis and therefore they have entered what third marga pravishta तृतीय मार्गे इन दि थर्ड मार्ग प्रविष्टा पापीना फॉर दोस् पापी हु हेव एंटर्ड दिस थर्ड मार्ग देह प्राप्त फॉर दि पर्पस ऑफ एटेनमेंट ऑफ अनदर देह विच इज वॉट दि पूर्व पक्षी इज स्लेइंग इट इज गोइंग टू बी ओनली इन दि फिफ्त आहुति स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम चंद्रलोक दैट आहुति संख्या नियम न आदर्तव्य just because the panchamagni vidya is talking about a journey from chandraloka for the punya karmis that should not be extended and brought into the context of the papis it shouldn't be done so no adat adartavya that sankhya niyama panchama sankhya niyama which has been talked about in the context of the punya punya karmis who have attained the चंद्रलोक इत्यादि दैट फिफ्थ आहुति नियम शुड नॉट बी रूल शुड नॉट बी एप्लाइड इन दिस केस ऑफ पापी कुतः वाय तथोपलब्धे बिकॉज इट इज सीन सच इन सच मैनर इन दिश्रुति इट से संख्या नियम विनायस्व मृयस्व इत तृतीय स्थान Shruti itself says, "What does it say? Vina eva sankhya niyam, without making any 
mention of this fifth ahuti or any such number what does the shruti say jaya swamriyasu iti eta tritiyam sthanam the third sthana other than these two paths the upasakas and karm karmis shuddha karmis who attain this set of two paths meaning respectively the devaloka for upasakas and devaloka or devayana the path leads to the devaloka so devayana and those who have done karma without upasanas they attain the pitruloka through pitruyana other than that what is the third sthana iti eta tritiyam sthanam this itself is tritiya sthana what is that jayaswamriyas jayaswamriyas is lot lakara but that lot is not in the meaning of what we know generally pavana punye na to lot artha there is no lot artha there pavana punye it means again and again jayaswamriyas there in the sense of being born again and again क्रिया समविहारे लोट लोटो हिस्सो वा च तद्धमो तद्धमो हो सो क्रिया समविहारे लोट व्हेन देयर इज क्रिया व्हिच इज रिपीटिंग देयर लोट इज यूज दैट लोट मींस व्हाट दैट लोट लकारा इज ओनली इन दैट मीनिंग ऑफ क्रिया समविहार तस्मिन विषय ओनली इन द मीनिंग सेंस ऑफ व्हाट इन द सेंस ऑफ repetition of a kriya there this lot is used lot lakara so jayasomriya so means what janma and marana is again and again continuously again and again that is the janma of the papi into insect bodies iti shrutau tritiya marge deha prapte he upalabdhe charta so tatha upalabdhe deha prapte he in that meaning alone the shruti says that there is no fifth ahuti needed for those who have gone to tritiya sthana meaning as a papa phala those who keep on attaining janma and marana cyclically again and again till papa is exhausted they are very short lived just give me a moment please sorry sorry i forgot to set out something okay so uh, there by what deha prapthe upalabdhe ichcha in the third marga the shruti says that they attain the deha again and again there is no ahuti needed there there is no travel at all to other loka in this loka itself they will be born again and again ishtadi karana meva ayam sankhya nima iti bhava therefore what is what does it mean when panchagni vidya talks about the fifth ahuti sankhya using the fifth ahuti fifth number there that number is valid only for those who have done ishtadi karma ishta purta ityadi punya karma iti bhava this is the idea smaryate api ch loke smaryate api ch loke and it is seen loke in the world what smriyate smriti grantha has also talk about it apiche loke where is it seen so here loke bharatadu bharata means mahabharata so smriyate api cha loke in the world it is recalled it is recalled in smriti granthas purana ityadi mahabharata mahabharata is praised as what as praised as a panchama panchama veda it's not a veda but it is praised like that arthavada so apiche loke bharatado in mahabharata ityadi what is seen drona drishtadyumnadinam ayoni jatvam smaryate 
सो इट इज स्मरियत इट इज हर्ड वॉट इज हर्ड यू सी इट इज रिकॉर्ड इट इज रिकॉर्ड इन महाभारत इत्यादि एज टू द्रोणाचार्य दृष्टुम्न इत्यादि दे डू नॉट हैव योनी जन्म दे आर नॉट बॉर्न फ्रॉम योनी एट ऑल सो नाउ दिस इज गिवन एज एन एग्जाम्पल टू एस्टैब्लिश दैट पापीज ऑल्सो नीड नॉट हैव संख्या वाई बिकॉज इट द रूल ऑफ पुण्यकर्मी इज हैविंग पंचमाहूति काइंड ऑफ अ नंबर फॉर बींग बॉर्न दैट इज नॉट ट्रू फॉर एवरी वन जस्ट लाइक इट इज नॉट ट्रू फॉर द्रोणाचार्य दृष्टुम्न इत्यादि एज सीन इन महाभारत इट इज नॉट ट्रू फॉर दि पापकर्मीज ऑल्सो दिस इज नॉट एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ पापकर्मीज इट इज एन एग्जाम्पल टू शो दैट अदर देन दि इष्टाधिकारीज देर कैन बी जीवास हू हैव जन्म विदउट दि फिफ्ताहूति फिफ्ताहूति इज दि is the purusha and stri melana whereby the retha is transferred from the purusha to the stri yoni and thereby the janma takes place after the gestation period but that is not seen for dronacharya drishtajumna it is not seen in the mahabharata so tatra dronadinam yoshidahutir eka nasti so for द्रोण द्रोणाचार्य एक्सेट्रा वॉट आहुति इज नॉट देर द फिफ्थ आहुति इट सेल्फ इज नॉट देर सो फोर आहुति इज आर देर फिफ्थ आहुति इज नॉट देर एका नास्ति दि फाइनल आहुति मीनिंग द्रोणाचार्य वॉज नॉट बॉर्न फ्रॉम दि पुरुष स्त्री संबंध वेर इज द फिफ्थ आहुति देर इट इज नॉट देर सो इफ इट इज नॉट देर देन वॉट इज दि ऑब्जेक्शन से इज द सिद्धांति टू दि पूर्व पक्षी टू दोज हू अटेंडेड दि थर्ड स्थान पापीज they don't have fifth ahuti what is the objection there even there are some who are non papis who have no fifth ahuti then papis having no fifth ahuti is not a question at all that should be raised and then drishtadyumna any example is given drishtadyumna adi naam yoshit purusha vishaye dve ahuti nastaha and drishtadyumna was born without the इत्यादि फिफ्थ आहुषि आहुति एंड व्हाट पुरुष विषय ऑल्सो एज टू समबडी मीनिंग इट इज नॉट दैट दृष्टजुम्ना फादर एट व्रीहि इत्यादि एज पार्ट ऑफ द फोर्थ आहुति दैट विल बिकम द फोर्थ आहुति एंड देन रेथा वुड बी फॉर्म एंड दैट रेथा वुड गो इनटू टू दिस्त्री विच इज द फिफ्थ आहुति सो टू आहुति लास्ट टू आहुति आर नॉट देर इति आहुति संख्या निहमो नास्ति सो विद एग्जांपल इट हैज बीन प्रूवन दैट दिस फिफ्थ नंबर इज नॉट नेसेसरी देर आर सम विथ फोर आहुति देर आर सम विथ थ्री आहुति दिज आर ऑल उपलक्षण हाउ समबडी इज बॉर्न इज बेस्ड ऑन कर्मा एंड कर्मा इट सेल्फ इज डिफिकल्ट टू नो गहना कर्मणो गति से भगवान कृष्ण गीताचार्य दिस इज जस्ट सम एक्सप्लेनेशन फॉर वैराग्य उत्पत्ति बट Nothing is idam itham. That five ahuti should be there, and this panchamag, uh, pan, this uh, panchagni vidya is for upasana. It is for upasana also. It gives nyana, but it is for upasana also, and it le- leads to some phala. The nyana can result in vairagya also, because only such people who get such kind of a journey, others won't get. All that information is given by shastra to generate vairagya in the listener. इति आहुति संख्या नियमो नास्ति विथ अदर एग्जांपल इट हैज बीन शोन एज टू देयर इज नो आहुति संख्या रूल रूल रिगार्डिंग ओनली पर्टिकुलर नंबर ऑफ फाइव नंबर ऑफ आहुति टू बी देयर एवं अन्यत्रापि इति भाव देयरफॉर सच काइंड ऑफ अ नियम रूल ऑफ फिफ्थ आहुति बीइंग देयर एंड देयरफॉर चंद्रलोका बीइंग द फर्स्ट सिनेरियो ऑफ the first ahuti or scenario of the first ahuti therefore everyone should have chandraloka gamana including papis was a claim made by puro pakshi it isn't valid so anyatra api in that case also there may be no ahuti at all meaning 
there may may not be such series of avutis there may be some way in which janma is there and how do you know that darshanaacha darshanaacha and also due to darshana so shruti example has been given tatha upalabdhe in the 18th sutra smriti mahabharata example has been given in the 19th sutra now the anubhav siddhartha is shown in the loka loke darshanaacha in the world it is seen लोके दिस लोके वर्ड कैन बी सीन टू हैव अनुवृत्ति हियर लोके दर्शन लोके स्मरियते मीनिंग इन दी वर्ल्ड इन महाभारत इत्यादि इट इज रिकॉर्ड एंड लोके दर्शनाच मीन्स इट हैज बीन सीन इन दी वर्ल्ड बाय प्रत्यक्ष प्रमाण एंड मॉडर्न साइंस आल्सो कैन बी एडेड एडिशनली एज टू वॉट एवर इज वन अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ वेरियस लाइफ फॉर्म्स सो किंच लोके इन दी वर्ल्ड वॉट डू वी सी जरायुज आंडज स्वेदज उद्भिदे उद्भिदेशु चतुर्विध देहेशु स्वेदजोद्भिद स्वेद स्वेदज उद्भिदजयो सो उद्भिद उद्भिद दकार इन संधि हेज बिकम जकार देर उद्भिदजयो स्त्री पुम व्यक्ति संयोगम विना एव उत्पत्ति दर्शनात् so darshanaacha means what due to darshana what darshana due to darshana of vina sanyogam pum stri pum vyakti sanyogam vina eva utpatti darshana so due to birth of some being seen without the stri and purusha sanyoga which is the fifth ahuti so that fifth ahuti niyama is not there in the case of everyone that is seen in the world itself by pratyaksha pramana where is it seen kincha loke jarayuja jarayuja means what those who, who are born out uh, of the womb uh, sorry not uh, those who are born of the womb but then jarayuja andaja swedaja so what do you see some are born of the egg andaja and swedaja means Sweat literally means sweat, so those who are born of the sweat also, meaning those who are born from such watery, uh, adhika or what do you say the uh, uh, sources, which cannot be seen by the naked eye, so they are born from something that we think you know in a filthy places. or on the skin if you are sweating and then you don't take a bath then there is some you know bacterial growth etc whatever you know or some places you will see you know uh, you leave some vegetable for a long time whatever and uh, it becomes watery there is some you know, uh, you know growth of yeast etc so all these are examples there as to what as to it is not that stri pum sanyoga is needed in all places that is not true so the uh, you know there are uh, various ways in which things are born and what is the third one there udbhija udbhija is the trees which are born how are the trees born the trees are born without any stri purusha sanyoga stri purusha sanyoga is not there so without that also you see the birth meaning janma of a jeeva so trees are also plants are also uh, they are also jeevas taking birth therefore such become the examples for pratyaksha or pratyaksha examples to establish that the fifth ahuti ahuti is not necessarily so kincha loke jarayuja those who are born from not from stri and pum sanyoga so all such examples can be taken as to uh the establishment of fifth ahuti of stri purusha sanyoga not being necessary hmm. just give me a moment here तो 
Trump is behaving a little funny. Yeah, yeah, I see the comment there. Born outside the, of the womb. So that is true. So I, I'm looking for a translation, you know. So there is a, uh, in English there, there is a word, a word called what? Viviparous. So uh, Viviparous, I was looking for a better translation there in English. So, uh, so it, it is like that. So, so it is not that, uh, but see, when you say the example for Jarayuja, if it is the Kunti Putra, Kunti Putra example, then it is the part of the 19th Sutra, not the 20th Sutra. Right? So, when you say that the example is Kunti Putra for Jarayuja, it cannot be. Because that is covered in the 9th, 19th, because it is in Mahabharata what is seen. So, here you need an example from other than the meaning in the in the world itself what is the worldly example which is seen by pratyaksha pramana so science etc uh, anyway the pramana will be given uh, so jara yuja uh, is the is the uh, word used there i was just trying to recall a translation look up a translation and my laptop was behaving funny there so it is uh, still give me a moment with the Yeah, uh, I'm just looking at uh, so anyway those who have studied uh, these Granthas may have better knowledge so Mahabharata example I prefer not to take in this because Mahabharata example has been taken in the Vritti in the Smariyate Epichaloke or you can say you know Smriti Grantha can be separated and Mahabharata but Vritti itself says that Jarayuja because Jarayuja actually means born of the womb but born of the womb without these three pum sanyoga. So here, uh, uh, as uh, uh, Satish ji gave an example, like Kunti, you can say like Kunti, but what has been seen, Kunti Putra, born of Vara, uh, is also Jarayuja, meaning uh, born to Kunti without the Purusha three sanyoga. So that is an example, but it is Smaryate Apicha Loke, there it, it can be used. And that example can be used to say that in some era, may not be today. So today, uh, we can say that born in the womb, yeah, IVF is a good example, yeah, in modern context. That's why I said uh, whatever is the understanding in the uh, modern world with the scientific approach. So all that is covered, IVF, etc. Uh, but without this three pum yoga. So now this, I, in IVF it is, Although there is no Stri Pum Sanyoga, still the Panchamahuti in some other manner it is there. But that is not an example here particularly because what are we saying? It can be taken by extension. However, uh, what is the example? You can take the examples where Varaprapta, but there is no Stri Pum Sanyoga. Like the Kunti example. So like the Mahabharata example, whatever is seen in the world. So Avatara Purushas also understood in the Shruti Smriti Granthas. So, Avatara Purushas like that, someone can say, oh, they, you know, somebody was blessed like that and then there was Janma in the womb itself, born out of the womb but without these three Pum Sanyoga. So, such case is there. Anyway, I hope you get the idea. It is not all that important uh, as to the literal meaning. I'll just finish this and stop. Kincha Loke Jarayuja Andaja Svedaja Udvidyeshu Chaturvida Dehesh. There are four types of Dehas. Jarayuja is one. And uh, here we can say what? Uh, or see, okay. Um, in fact, uh, I myself, uh, as I said, I uh, started off by saying that I am sleepy. So, Jarayuja can be a simple uh, this thing because uh, he that is not an example here. So, Jarayuja is a simple human being born of the womb. Whether with this three Pum Sanyoga or not is irrelevant. So we'll say with three pum sanyoga. So that's why I started by explaining that, and then I got a little uh, sidetracked with the thinking as to why Jarayuja is mentioned. So I was looking up some something else also, and my uh, laptop was behaving funny. 
so sorry for the interruption uh, sorry for a uh, uh, you know uh, this kind of a mix up i'll cl- clarify kincha loke jarayuja andaja swedaja udbijeshu so what are the four types of births possible jarayuja is birth from the womb like a normal birth we can say normal birth uh, need not have any uh, you know the uh, uh, need not have any variety ityadi kind of an interpretation a simple jarayuja meaning born of the womb that's all andaja is born of the egg okay simple meaning meaning birds etc then swedaja i gave the example of born of the sweat literally whatever it means in the modern context that can be taken as to with microscopic analysis you see something there but without the microscopic analysis what what is the shastra say, saying all those are categorized as swedaja now whether the swedaja there the uh, microscopic uh, eggs are there or not it's irrelevant why because they are separated from andaja as to the anda is pratyaksha in the case of the birds but the anda is not pratyaksha in the case of the swedaja you have to do microscopic analysis therefore there is a difference there so it is called as a third type of birth whatever is the source the example there is swedaja example there is what is you know the uh, scorpion etc which is seen to come of the uh, uh, dung cow dung etc so cow dung is set is the source also because you do not see what is hidden in this cow uh, in the cow dung you take a palmer of science somebody who has no uh, understanding of science b- does not understand microscopes so uh, those people will say oh look at it you know uh, the cow dung has been just lying around there and a scorpion is which was not there earlier is seen to be coming out of that or whatever such kind of examples are taken for swedaja i gave other examples and udbijja is the plants or which come of a seed so there chaturvida deheshu these are the four types of bodies swedaja udbijja yo only the last two swedaja and udbijja not andaja and jarayuja jarayuja are simple human birth uh, those who have simple human birth and then andaja is what uh, like birds etc where you see born out of the eggs so other than those the two swedaja and udbijja are what tayoho stripum vakti sanyogam vina so those are the examples where there is no stripum sanyoga not the earlier two for earlier two there is stripum sanyoga birds are born with stripum sanyoga and they give the the female gives an anda and then from anda there is a birth of a pigeon etc and jara yuja stripum sanyoga between human beings and humans are born from jara uh, jarayu jarayu meaning Uh, the womb so there is no question there of we don't need to think of examples where i got a little thrown off uh, so swedaja udbijja only in the, those cases we don't see any stripum sanyoga in the world so darshanat tatha darshanat vina utpatti uh, uh, winning what vina uh, vina stripum sanyoga uh, stripum vyakti sanyoga individual stri and purusha don't have any sanyoga and without that what there is utpatti उत्पत्ति दर्शना न आहुति संख्या नियम देर इज नो दिस आहुति संख्या नियम दिस इज दि आइडिया सो वी लुक एट दी फर्स्ट इन दि नेक्स्ट पार्ट सॉरी अबाउट दि कन्फ्यूजन टूडे आमनायांत्रिक संसिद्धम आदि मध्यांत वर्जित आनंद घर महापूर्ण आत्मज्योतिरुपास्मे नमस्ते धन्यवाद Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Sorry for the confusion. Uh-huh. It was informative. Namaste.